Welcome to the I'm Smiling Program. My friend Bo Deedle. Good morning, Mr. Deedle. I'm Good morning, Don. You know what? You've got to be all over it. Yeah. A lot of people don't know. You know when they have these body scans that they talk about to find the explosives? All a bunch of hogwash. Yes. All a body scan does is show where there's a physical thing on a body. If someone was to put explosive into their belt, in, a, uh, in the inner line of their belt, they never could ex find it. The body scan does not does not find explosives, and people are being baloney by these companies. And the problem with this is, in order for them to find explosives on the body, it has to have a molecule breakdown where they can find the explosive. In order for that to happen, you'd be barraged with about a dozen MRIs every time you went through. Hence, what you just talked about, you could physically not go through uh, flying because you'll be getting zapped with this MRI, you know, that kind of uh, uh, radiation. Yeah. And that's the only way they could find explosives to be deemed on your body. And that's why they don't do it. So a body scan is good for finding weapons and all that. And it's a hogwash nonsense for people to believe that they can find explosives with a body scan. And it's horrible that people are being buffooned by this. Also on that I mean, note. Buffoon. No. Also, on that note, no. isn't it a I shame agree. the ball bag bomber? Remember the guy with the uh, with the underwear? <laughs> what can't we just call him the underwear bomber? <laughs> oh, okay, the underwear bomber. Yeah. Now let's be honest about it. The guy tried to take a plane down. God forbid if he would have got it right, there would have been a plane down. Yeah. Three hundred Americans dead on Christmas Day. People would be crying out, "What? Are, what are we doing?" Three hundred people did. Yes, they and all then, wouldn't have been Americans, but they're, well, they're well, human beings. Well, three hundred people. I don't care who no, they we are. We care about that. Yeah. We have now this guy being Apparently interrogated by the FBI. Anyone? He was interrogated by the FBI for fifty-five oh minutes. Sure. Then all of a sudden, some. Jerked down in Washington, whether it was Holder or whoever it was, deemed that he was not a military combatant and give him his Miranda warnings. What Miranda warnings? If that plane came out of the sky, I'd like to do a questionnaire. How many people want to give him Miranda warnings? Mm -hmm. He should have been interrogated. And you know how many people were waterboarded with this whole nonsense? Three people were waterboarded with all this nonsense, and we got very good information. How about taking this this uh, ball bag bomber, I mean the underwear bomber, and it's how about... Guy, uh... How about interrogating this guy and finding out more information rather than treating him with a defense attorney? Now he can't talk to him. That's the, a load uh, of baloney. The, 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 the one terrorist who was waterboarded 188 times, I'm just thinking, um, after you've been waterboarded, say, oh, I don't know, just pick a, say 50 times, don't you know that they're just waterboarding you and that, you know, or do you think each time you're going to die? But the point, no. With water do, water, no, no, no. Can you? No, no. You, you don't think you, you, it's what a feeling. Think? It's a feeling of drowning, but you cannot die for it. Would me. you be willing to let us waterboard you? Absolutely. Or you would? Let's go. Hey, Bernie. Let's yeah. go. Can we set that up? Yeah. No doubt. You got, you got to turn me upside down, Bernie, and you pour water until I goggle date, and then you just snap me out of it. We're, no, we just want to get you to, what do we want him to do? We don't want you to talk. We want you to not talk. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but, 